guys before I even say hi how do 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 I just recorded about five minutes with this video and then my phone because I'm still doing it on my phone my phone just psh, cut out okay one two three four hi how do 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 and welcome back to my channel um, today's video is going to be an honest and open discussion about university and my experience and whether I would recommend and things that happened to me and obviously like it was my experience and I get everybody was different some people it was the best four or five years of their life other people it was the worst I just want to speak open and honestly about things that happened to me what I'd recommend and not recommend um, I asked some questions on my Instagram so I've got them on a envelope because we like to keep things cheap around here gals <laughs> it's actually my graduation card so I'm just going to get right into it I want to go to university that's question number one and I was never one that was like after school I must go to university and in, in life I must go to university to succeed I'd watch my mum go to university later in life my sister was the same um, and I kind of, I liked being educated, I've always enjoyed being educated, I've always enjoyed that aspect. Um, because I like being educated, the university was a possibility for me, but it was not something that I wanted to attend straight away and felt like it was a failure if I didn't. So I went to college after school, I did a year in that and then I took half a year out and then went to university. How did I decide on my course? A lot of people don't know this and I don't even think a lot of my friends know this but I was a very toss up between history for me and drama and I love history, history is such a big part of my life, it always has been, I had the best teacher in school, I did absolutely fantastic A's across the board. My biggest fear with it was I had been taught by the same teacher all the way throughout school and I was worried that if she wasn't there I wouldn't succeed because I'd been taught by the same person whereas with drama I've been taught by loads of different people who were fantastic and shaped me into the person I am today but I've been taught by so many of them that I knew that I would be okay like I, I would be able to be taught by other people whereas history it was very like one-on-one -on -one, like we had such a connection that I was scared um, and then I did acting and performance after secondary school I went straight to do that so I kind of loved that and I loved that year so that was kind of why I ended up doing drama and I wanted um, what was my dream university? So I wasn't that drama kid that wanted to go to the Royal Conservatoire. I wasn't, I didn't audition for it, I didn't even think about it. I didn't really care if it was a high school I went to, like, you know, high credited school with all these amazing people. Um, when I was younger and I really wanted to do acting, the Sylvia Young Theatre Group is where, where it was at for me. I wanted to go there so badly. I people support workers at my school and she said her son was at QMU and that it was quite high for drama and that he loved it he got so many opportunities for other things and from then I kind of was like if I go to university that is where I would like to go so when I got in 13 or 14 year old Amy literally nearly passed away it was nearly the death of Amy because I was so excited for myself I was so excited that the university I actually wanted to go to it if I was going to a university I got in so that was really exciting um, how was Halls and would you recommend it? I loved Halls. I had such a good experience in Halls. I got on fantastically with my flatmates. We became like a family and I know that's so cliche and I hate fought like a family. We got back together like a family. Me and Jamie were there, or Jamie and I, was there anyone with him? Now that I'm an educated girl? I don't know. <laughs> but we were the only two Scottish people in our flat and Katie moved in a wee bit after and then the rest were Finnish and German and Italian so we learned a whole load of culture and it was so interesting for us we had a Swedish friend and I created some of the best memories of my uni experience from living in halls and in my mental health video I spoke about how um, my first year I went in and I was quite an anxious person and was quite stressed about life and but they, they took me in and they looked after me and we supported each other and I, I personally 100% would recommend halls if you I get for older people I might not be their thing because you are going to party even if you don't want a party flat there's parties there is chaos it's not an easy place to study I'm not going to lie to you it's not an easy place to want to go to class I barely oh, I barely attended class but it was easy just to stay in bed um, and I know a lot of other people have bad experiences in halls but that wasn't for me so I would 100% recommend that you make the best friends from it. Um, so this was an interesting question. 
what was my best experience and my worst experience? So I think the overall best experience I can take away from my overall degree is that I have learned a whole range of different things. Like I know how to direct a show, I know how to like uh, rig some lights, I know how setting costume works now. Like I think the overall was absolutely the friends I made, the memories I have, the independence I gained as a person. That was definitely the best part. The worst part was staying motivated and seeing the end line when things were going rough or even just seeing the end line when I couldn't be bothered or I was working too much or it was really really hard to you know stay focused and know that my degree was coming at the end of August that was definitely the worst experience and having a because it's not school you don't have people holding your hand telling you you have to get these so if you don't want to do it you don't you don't have to do it so having to motivate myself when I felt like that that was definitely the worst of it. I recommend Queen Margaret University. I, I would recommend Queen Margaret University because it's a small enough university and it is very much community based and everybody's lovely and you halls are right on campus and it has everything literally on your doorstep so that was absolutely fantastic but everybody everybody will see this about Queen Margaret the communication is shocking. The emails, you can send an email, it could go weeks with it being read, which is stressful if it's an urgent email. So for that aspect, no, that whole consensus, I would recommend it anyway. I, it was, you felt as though you were part of something when you were at Queen Margaret, so that was good, that was definitely good. Is there anything I'd change? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to be one of these people that say I don't regret anything I do because of course I do I'm a person everybody regrets things um if I could go back to Amy in 2016 just starting uni I would remind her about how strong she was and I would remind her that it's not always going to be plain sailing but I don't necessarily think I would change anything because while there were so many low lows there were so many highs there were so many appreciation for the people around me and I think uni taught me more about the people that I have and how important they are in my life rather than the degree itself so I don't think I would change anything in that aspect how was your financial situation at uni? bad <laughs> well we in Scotland have SAS so I mean we get our tuition paid we're so blessed as a country we get our tuition pay paid for us we get um, a loan if you want to take it and they like pay you money each month and while that was fantastic halls was expensive halls was about 479 pound or roughly about that month like five six hundred pound probably more than that a month just to survive and like live a okay and good life at uni when we moved into our flat it was only 400 pound a month rent but there was obviously gas and lecky and stuff like that and there were still buses and I had a job, I had a part time job and while that brought in some money it was still stress, stressful, stressful trying to or organise and work out how I was paying for X, Y and Z and I went to camp each year so obviously that took a large amount of my money so I'm not going to lie it wasn't easy, I, I wasn't the richest student, I, it wasn't the easiest time in my life in order to like juggle money well I don't think I juggled it all that well but I managed it and I survived um, how was the services at uni like for instance your personal academic tutor or mental health services so those are like go hand in hand for me my personal academic tutor in the first three years at my university was bad she didn't email me she didn't when things were going bad for me I emailed her she didn't email me back it was you meant to meet with your pat, that's what they're called every semester or at least once a year, I never met with her once and obviously like things was going on with me at the time it was really really bad um, and then I emailed my overall head and explained the situation to her so she then became my pat and after that she was fantastic she really took me under her wing, she looked after me, she explained to me that things will be okay I will get my degree that she believes in me 100% and that she's here and the uni's here and that very quickly changed I probably could have got in touch way before I did to explain the situation with my pa and explain that that wasn't working with us but I just 
never did. I get scared and I don't know how to approach situations and that's a learning cur curve for me. The minute I did, she was fantastic. She got me every kind of support and she put everything in place that I needed to be put in place and she was great after that. She was fantastic. So that was really good. Mental health services. I didn't really use the mental health service as such. I hear it's really good. I hear they're really great. I, I suppose the counsellor's may be part of that. I went to the counsellor in second or third year, I really can't remember, merges into one and she she was nice, it was nice to actually speak to someone that didn't have a direct impact on my life, like as much as I can speak to my mum and my sister and my friends, whatever I say and if it's you know something that they've done it's going to upset them and then it's going to have a ripple effect on me, so to go in there and speak to her just about university, about life. It was good, it was really good and she was lovely and welcoming and she kind of went through certain things. She was one of the very first people to say to me, I think you have PTSD. She recommended a whole range of things for me and um, we got three, three free sessions. So, well I think, I don't know if it's different for every uni, but Queen Margaret, that was what it was. And I went and each week she was absolutely fantastic and I'm sure if I continued to go back or if I'm sure I pressed the issue more, they would have put more things in place. But for that aspect I can't say any bad things about it honestly they were they're fantastic they were absolutely amazing in that respect um what was your biggest accomplishment my biggest accomplishment I think was just definitely pushing through like pushing through the hard times and like everybody talks about hard times and stuff like that but I think for me it got to a point where I was thinking to myself is it worth it like is this degree worth it and just being able to push through those negative thoughts, take the year out that I took out and just go back and like smash it, like that for me is such a big accomplishment for me mentally, for me physically, for me in every aspect of my life so I was really proud of myself for that and uni is hard, like people make it sound like it's the best party four years of your life and I partied to reach every single person that will, will watch this video, I partied for everybody. But it is hard work, it is hard to go in there and motivate yourself, it's hard to learn about 500 different modules, it's hard to understand how things are and why they are that way and I don't want people to go into uni thinking this is going to be the easiest four years of my life, it's going to be like school, it's nothing like school, school was a walk in the park compared to this. Like, it's just to go from something like school or college where they like sit you down and they baby you through it to then university where it's you're left for your sit by yourself is hard, it's really hard. So for me to be able to push through that was such a big accomplishment for me personally. Um, what was your biggest fear going on to uni and how did that work out in the end? I think my biggest fear definitely because I was moving into halls and I was moving into halls a few days after everybody else was, my biggest fear was will I make friends and will people understand me and will they like me and is this just going to be a wasted four years and it wasn't. I went in and became friends with people very very quickly and it just worked itself out. I wasn't really nervous about the course of that because I knew everybody would be in the same boat but in terms of making friends I'm one of these people that can go into a room and make friends with absolutely everybody in the building or I don't make friends with anybody. So I just, uh, that was the biggest thing that I was worried about and I'd, uh, within, I want to say six or seven hours, it was, it was fine, absolutely fine. So that was, that was good. Um, how were the people on your course? So on my course, I didn't really make a lot of friends. I just think personality wise, maybe we weren't the same kind of vibe. Um, I got on way two or three people really, really well. They were like really close friends. Um, and then there was other people that I would like talk to and would get on with but there was just other, there was a few select people that I stay in touch with but they all seem to be happy and I'm happy for them so yeah. What was my favourite year at uni? I was talking to my mum about this because I was telling her I was making this video and she was saying well obviously like explain to them when you went into uni your first year was rocky because I was ill and I'm like yeah I've already explained that but I actually think first year was my favourite year and I'd I know life was cute. This video just cut off again, again. So, 
so that's going to be like choppy I'm very sorry so it was what is your favourite year my favourite year and I was saying explaining how my mum thought it wouldn't be first year because it was so chaotic but actually it was first year the excitement of being in uni the excitement of living away from home for the first time meeting new friends and stuff like that like I will never be able to bottle that bottle up, up that experience again and every year after it was I just got harder and harder so that was 100% my favourite year um, was I overall happy in uni I think for the most part yes like there was definitely years or days where I felt way worse and like overall down um, and or like months where I felt down but overall like I was happy I was so happy just to like experience a new thing in life and I'm very much of that mindset of even if I experience something and it's bad I'm still experiencing something new so like for me I was happy I was happy with that experience I was happy to be free and um, to gain new stuff and to gain the independence so I was I was overall happy um, and the last question was was it worth it and I thought about this for ages because my degree came through the other day and it's obviously in a bit of paper and I said all that work for a bit of paper mum was that even worth it and yeah it was it was it was worth it because no matter how hard I like wanted no matter how hard I worked no matter how much I wanted to give up I didn't give up and that bit of paper represents that it represents the like the hard times it represents the fun times but I also I gained so much from that experience I gained friends for life I, I gained Jamie and Katie who I will forever be indebted to for that experience they're, they're not just friends from uni they're, they are part of my inner circle we are like a team we'll always be a team gained memories I lived in Edinburgh which I never thought I would do and I, do you know what I gained a qualification I gained a qualification I worked hard for it I know it'll always be there, it's never going to be taken away from me and that, that was me that did that, that wasn't anybody else and I think that was worth it, just to be able to look at something and go, you mean you did that and that's what I'd say to anybody starting university, anybody that wants to give up and I know I've been there myself and I thought is it worth it or someone that even, even someone that's struggling at the minute and struggling to think should I keep going when, once you hold that bit of paper in your hand you will thank your lucky stars that you did and do you know what even if you don't want to completely get it I was very very close to quitting myself and I wouldn't even say it was quitting like I don't like that word because it just sounds like ugh. it's hard it's hard work uni and not a lot of people speak about that aspect of it and I think it really should be spoken about more and people should be able to feel proud people should be able to speak about how great it is they've got a uni degree without someone being like oh you just think you're better educated than me it's not about being better educated than someone if you've got a uni degree it's the fact that you put four years or three if you're from England but it's four in Scotland of your life into that and so yeah overall I am gonna go now because this keeps cutting off but thank you so much for watching my next video up will be my graduation week which is I just it can start off with me having to get my photos and then graduation day then the drinking um, a lot I didn't take a lot of videos just because I was in the moment so a lot of them are like live photos I've had to like combine together but I, pl I hope you enjoy and please like and subscribe tell your friends I would love to make 100 subscribers that would make my day my life m everything my degree would be worth it <laughs> so thank you for watching and have a great week